the cathode is copper so the electrolyte has to be a copper solution so copper sulfate is a very good copper solution because obviously we will have CO2 plus ions so we are done with the diagram we have labeled everything yeah so now let's uh, move forward the following are the results obtained from one such experiment current passed through the cell 0.5 amperes time current was passed through cell 30 minutes initial mass of copper cathode 52.243 which means this was the mass before the copper started getting deposited on the cathode final mass of copper cathode 52.542 grams so this is the mass after the copper has deposited on the cathode after 30 minutes so we have this information use these data and relevant information from the data booklet to calculate a value of L to three significant figures now we, what, what is known is the charge on an electron, the, the AR and the valency of copper. And uh, so these are the only things known. This means that we cannot use the value of Faraday constant we know because otherwise they would have stated that F is also known. So let's first start with Q. We can calculate Q by Q is equal to IT which is 0 0.5 into 30 it's in minutes so to convert it into seconds we multiply by 60 so this becomes when I do it on my calculator this becomes 900 coulombs then we have the half equation because we know the valency of copper we will know the half equation which is Cu2 plus accepts two electrons to give Cu this is the reaction happening at the cathode and we, what we know is that we, the final mass of copper was 52.542. The initial mass before the electrolysis was 52.243. So the mass of copper deposited will be 54, 52, sorry, 52.542 minus, let me just use some more space to do this because otherwise it will look very untidy. So mass of copper deposited was 52 point sorry about that Fifty-two point five four two minus 52.243 so when we do this when we calculate this uh, we get 0 0.299 grams 0 0.299 grams of copper that has been deposited so this is the mass of copper deposited so now we can calculate the number of moles of copper which will be 0 0.299 over 63.5 which is 4.71 to three significant figures of course 4.71 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles now we now we would have to calculate the number of moles of electrons so the number of moles of electrons is uh, so we can see that copper and electrons have a 1 is to 2 ratio so one mole of copper means two moles of electrons. So this is the number of moles of copper. The number of moles of electrons will be equal to 4.71 into 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by 2. So this gives us 9.42 again to three significant figures 9.42 into 10 to the power of is 3 so we get this now um, what we have to calculate is the Avogadro constant to three significant figures so we have, this is the number of moles of electrons so uh, now we can calculate the Faraday constant because we know that Q over F will be equal to N we already have N we already have Q so F will be equal to 
Q over n, which will be equal to 900 